Yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's Earning Ice Old Show. If you don't know now, you know we back at it. The dynamic duo on Fridays. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all. We thank y'all. If you here, man, we ask that you like, rate, review, share, subscribe. All of those good things to show us you appreciate the little things that we do. You know what I'm saying? Today, we are going to do Through the Times, y'all. Yes, we're going to go from 1990 to 2020. The top three rated hip-hop albums in that time. And we're going to break it down. You know what I'm saying? Uh... God, you know, if uh, ISO want to request what albums came out that year, I can pull that up too as well. See what I mean? So, um, these are these albums were broken down not by album sales, even though I got the album sales, but it's by impact. So, we're not going to go by album sales. The, the, the most sold album will not be number one in a lot of these cases. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, for you barbershop dudes, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't attack us. This is not our list. I forgot where I found this list at, you know what I'm saying? I was just searching for stuff, you know what I mean? Because these lists bring upon talking points for us, and it's something I pulled up. Uh, I will put the description of where I found the list at. I will put the name of the, of the where I found the list at in the description. But let's start in 1990. 1990, I'm going to start from 3 to 1. The number 3 album in that year, MC Hammer, Please Hammer Don't Hurt Him, who sold over 10 million copies. Uh, number 2, Ice Cube. America's Most Wanted sold 1.5 million copies. And the number one album in 1990 was Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet. Black Planet, excuse me, was sold 2 million copies. Uh, this this is to date. So this is not like they sold that then. This is to date today what they sold. I mean, um, 1991, number three album that year, Cypress Hills, uh, self-titled album, Cypress Hill, which sold 2 million copies. Uh, number two, a tropical quest, the low end theory. No oh, man, matter of fact, we, we if you gonna read the whole list and then go, man, it don't make no sense to read the whole list and go back. We might just do that shit year by year. Oh, I got you. So what? Nineteen ninety, you want to know what albums came out that year to compare? You did it already, right? No, I'm saying I thought you meant all the albums because I got that too. You got you want, all the you listen, got say all the albums. I got a list of all the albums that came out from right. nineteen ninety to twenty twenty. All right, go. Ahead. But I mean, there's a lot yeah. though. So like, if you want me to do that. I'll just pull it up like this. A lot. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a lot. Like, let me yeah, see. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We doing this for the golden era. <laughs> <laughs> we doing this for the golden era barbershop dudes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Put y'all backpacks on. <laughs> lace up y'all army <laughs> combat boots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're not going to list every album that came out, you know what I mean, within 1990. Uh, if I go down there and I see an artist that, you know what I mean, you know, probably should be within that top three or somewhere close. They will go like that. Uh, so, Lord Finesse and G, Mike Smooth, they dropped something. They dropped Funky Technician that year. Uh, well, we already said Hammer. Salt and Pepper dropped, you know what I'm saying, that year. They dropped Black Magic. Digital Underground, they dropped uh, Sex Packets. Mm. Uh, Three Times Dope, they dropped uh, Live from, uh, what's that? Ankle, Ankleus Land? Excuse me. Uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, shout, yeah. Out, to three times, <laughs> shout out to them. Yeah, I mean, uh, tribe drop. Yeah, I mean, people's instincts travel from the path of rhythm. They dropped that that year. We already said MC Shan dropped that year too. Uh, play it again, Shan. Uh, damn, I'm only in April right now. Ace Clan, they dropped. Yeah, I mean, to the east backwards. We already said Ice Cube. K Solo dropped. Tell, tell the world my name. Poor Righteous Teachers dropped. Holy Intellect. Uh, yeah, shout out to poor righteous teachers. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, Eric B and Rakim, they drop. Let the rhythm hit them. My shit. I'm yeah, saying, Eric, shout out to Eric B and yeah. Rakim, man. Um, um, damn, what was it? Damn, that could have been Eric B and Rakim. Yeah, he dropped that. that yeah, 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 let yeah. the rhythm hit him. Yeah, they dropped that joint in June. June nineteenth. I mean, Uncle Luke dropped that year too. He dropped the Luke LP. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, pull, pull back up. Oh, oh, all right. Slide. No, no, no. You're going right there. Uncle, oh, what was that? Kid Frost? Yeah, Kid Frost. Yeah, shout out Kid Frost, man. Um, Hispanic causing panic. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, Some of y'all do y'all homework on him. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the dudes that really, really 
really put it on for the uh, Hispanic people, you know what I mean, from um from over there, uh, West Coast. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he one of the people that really, really represented. Yeah, he did. For y'all that don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so y'all, y'all, y'all can do your homework on Kid Frost. Bo- Boogie Down Production dropped uh, Edutainment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, KRS-1 and them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was that, was like, you must learn and all that? Was that on there yeah, or was that yeah. before that? I think that was on there. Yeah, on Edutainment. You know what I'm saying? D-Nice, called call me D-Nice. Uh, yeah, Master Age dropped Take a Look Around. Special Ed dropped Legal. Uh, cool G Rap and DG Polo dropped One Dead or Alive. NWA dropped 100 Miles and Running. Damn, they got a lot, got a lot of albums that year, man. Damn, this was 1990. This is 1990. It's gonna dog. be a long ass list, man. We yeah. might, we might, we might, That's what I'm saying. Like, might, yeah. yeah, yeah, we might, we might just do just the, just like the go in there, just the 90s. Cause this, this is the 90s. Not, oh, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, 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 we probably continue yeah. this on another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you don't know need saying? to go past 2000. Get the Ghetto Boys dropped. The Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys dropped the Ghetto Boys. Excuse me. Yeah, you know I mean that year. Yeah, you know I mean Cool C dropped Life in the Ghetto. Vanilla. Hold on, hold on. Was was my playing tricks on that album? Or I don't know if it was on that album. Let me see. I can look it up. No. So I can't remember what album that joint was on. No, my playing tricks on wasn't on that album. Yeah, so I, I can't remember. Gave you thirty, gave you thirteen tracks that joint, that, that 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 album. Man, it's so much stuff I don't forgot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vanilla Ice dropped Too Extreme, Too Short dropped Short Listen, Dog in the House. How many? Hold on, hold on. How many records did Vanilla Ice sell? That, that what? The first one? That. That joint right was Ice Ice Baby was on that. That's what right? Ice Ice Baby was on, yeah. Yeah, how many records did he sell? In the United States alone, he sold seven million. Yeah, man, we can't. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Send the Ice Ice Baby was going crazy. Yeah, man, you gotta. It it, it was it was. I know I know I know a lot of people. How. How they felt about Vanilla Ice, now right, I'm saying right. the older dudes, now back when he was younger. How they felt about not me Vanilla Ice feeling like, yo, he 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 wasn't hip hop. Yeah 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 yeah. He just somebody who just they just put him in the studio, game. Now I mean, gave him some records and turned him into a rapper. People feel like that. Now I mean, some people that felt like that back then when I was younger. But over the years, you still people still feel like that. For like, yo, he wasn't part of hip hop. It's not that. It's not that he was white. A lot of people felt like, yo, he was not a part of hip hop. He just in the right place. People, some people were saying that. Like even back then, we younger, people were saying that he was just in the right place at the right time. He somebody just somebody just gave records to and just made him into a rapper. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why a lot of people don't 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 want to give him like any type of credit for his success or acknowledgement for his success. But Ice Ice Baby was a major record. I know how some people felt like, no, nah, he was just he was just on some. He just on some opportunity knock, and he just took advantage of it. But I can't, I can't be mad at that. But a lot of people feel like, well, he wasn't a part of hip hop. He was just in the right place, right time, and he just somebody that some people just turned into a rapper. I mean, hey. I mean that's just what. Sometimes it's, that's good too. I hear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I haven't, I've never heard him say out of his own mouth that you know I loved hip hop my whole life or nothing like that. Maybe it. Maybe he got an interview or something like that that he's saying that. But what people were saying even since then was, yo, he was just in the right place at the right time. He was right. just doing music and people just turned him into a rapper and it's worked out for him. So that's why people feel like, you know what I mean? They don't like the game as acknowledgement for his success because they feel like, yo, he didn't really care about, the only thing he cared about hip hop. He was just right place, right time. But, you know, Ice Ice Baby was a, was a huge record, man. It was. That yeah. and the journey did for the Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Turtles, too. Now I was about to say. No, Ninja, I Ninja, Ninja Rap. Rap, yeah. yeah Ninja <laughs> Rap. Yeah. <laughs> that show was... Yo, we love... First of all, that was a huge-ass movie, dog. I remember just everybody coming out of there and singing that song. Everybody was on that shit. Like, Ninja, Ninja Rap. <laughs> yeah. Like, that yeah. was a huge-ass moment, man. We all we all fell in love with Damn, that shit. Secret man. of the Ooze. Yeah, yeah, yo, we all fell in love with that shit. Damn, them, first, them first Ninja Turtle movies. Yeah, classic. That shit was a big deal, man. Hell yeah. Back then, you had to get there early to get a seat. I don't know, shit, shit we went to shit. I think we had to you know, buy my, my dad went and bought the went up there and bought the tickets. You got to go buy book tickets ahead of time. Yeah, bought tickets ahead of time. I remember that joint. That joint was packed. Yeah, the first joint was packed. The oh, second yeah. movie was packed. I remember seeing. 
I remember seeing Home Alone 1 and 2 in the movies. That joint was packed. Yeah, there was so many packed. people, it was kids sitting in the aisle. That joint, this joint, there was so many people, kids were sitting in the aisle. Yeah. People standing up in the back. Yeah. Sitting in, it was kids sitting in the aisle. Sitting on them dirty ass steps. Yeah. People were sitting in the aisle. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? So that's a part of the childhood too, man. It definitely is. Know what I mean? It definitely is, man. Definitely that is. And, um, yeah, what's that funny ass movie we seen in that movie in the movies one time, man? Is that Bad Santa? Oh yeah, yeah. Bad oh, Santa was yeah. Bad Santa was, was a, wild. Seeing that shit for the first time, that in a movie, that shit was the funniest movie that there shit was wild. ever, fam. That yeah. was a wild ass movie, yo. Yeah, both funny as hell. I ain't gonna front. That shit was crazy. That shit yeah. was dying laughing that whole movie. Both funny as hell. What was bring? What was bring kids in that joint? Yeah, like, hey, you got kids yo. in the movie theater, fam. No, that this is not snake that Christmas type movie. Right. Yeah, I said yeah, like, people, I don't people, know what you think had, you about to people, watch, but it ain't yeah, that. You had kids in that joint. I'm like, are you bring kids in the movie theater? That joint like red. That joint was wild. Yeah, you know I'm saying, yeah, but that joint was a classic though, man. Right. Yeah, shout out to Vanilla, Vanilla Ice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I already said, I said uh, Too Short, Shorts Dog in the House. Yeah. LL Cool J, Mama Say Knock You Out came out that year. Damn, Mama Said Knock You Out came out that Mama year? Said Knock You Out came out September the 14th, 1990. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I always love Mama Said Knock You Out. I always love that song. Man. Yeah. Uh, Father MC, Father's Day came out. Granddaddy yeah, I IU, I did Smooth like, Assassin. Yeah, but, yeah, rest in peace to Granddaddy IU. Yeah. You know what I mean, I heard that he had, that he passed. Um, Father MC, I always liked Father MC. Yeah, I fuck with Father MC too. Man, I always liked Father MC, yeah. man. He, he was a rapper, but he had like that, he had like an R&B vibe to him. He but did. He was a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, I always liked him. Yeah, I always liked Father MC. Yeah. Hold on, did we already say Run DMC had a job? Because this is say Run DMC again. I know I'm not, but I know they ain't dropped two joints in the same year. No, I ain't say them. All right, all right, cool. Uh, Run DMC uh, dropped Back From Hell. Mm. Money Love, yeah, you know I mean, shout out to Money Love. Down to Earth, Big Daddy Kane dropped Taste of Chocolate. Damn, that was, damn, Money Love, that was 1990? Oh, yeah, shout out to Money Love, yeah. Damn. Cause that was Morning in the Middle, right? Yeah, that was that joint. Yeah, Morning in the Middle. That was 1990. Yup. Down to Earth, had Morning in the Middle on it. I could have, I could have swore we was a little older than that when that joint was when that joint came out. Yeah, it's gonna have Morning in the Middle on it. Morning in the Middle was enough the first track on the song. Morning in the Middle, yeah. Yeah, they wasn't playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. First track on the album, yeah. yeah give you what you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Morning Love. Yeah, shout out to Morning. I mean, definitely. Yeah, she definitely. Yeah. Uh, I already said, baby, that he came taste the chocolate. We had, uh, what's this? The world famous Supreme team, Malcolm McLaren. That's some, that's some other shit. That's not, that's not what we think is the Supreme team. Uh, around the outside, around the outside. Uh, Brand Nubian, one for all. Yeah, yeah, one for all is my shit. Yeah, yeah. Kid Rock drop, uh, grits and sandwiches for breakfast, EPMD. What? Kid Rock, 1990. You got, you got, what? You got a lot of. Got JJ Fat on there. Yeah, JJ Fat. Yeah. Fat on there. Not just a fat. Kid Rock drop. Okay, that must have been the first time he ever dropped something. Probably. Yeah. EPMD brought drop business as usual. Yep. Yeah. Ice Cube, Kill It Will. Is that the Joan the Headbanger was on? No, no, no. Was that was that before that? No. Nah. No, nah, name some of the joints on there. Uh, what EPMD joint? Yeah. Uh, I'm mad hardcore rampage manslaughter. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Rampage joint like I think I had L Cool J on. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the album that Headbangers on. Okay. Yeah, Jane Third, Four People, that's Mr. Right. Bo- Mr. Bozak. Yeah, Mr. Bozak, Gold Digger, Gary yeah, yeah, People, yeah, Rap yeah, Out yeah, of Control, digger. Brothers on My Jock. That shit was that shit was a classic too. Yep. That joint red man, Underground, His Squad Heist, and Funk Piano. He's a gold digger. Yeah, yeah. Ice Cube, Killer Will came out that that year. Uh, DJ, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Ice Cube, Ice Cube dropped two albums in the same year. Hold on, yeah, because we said Ice Cube was another joint. Killer Will came out. Ice Cube released this nineteen ninety. Yep, December eighteenth, nineteen ninety. This only had seven tracks on it though. Okay. Yep. This this the one that had Jack of the Beats on it. Yep. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. 
This is the one. Damn, that was 19. Jack and the Beast was 1990? Yeah, Jack and the Beast. Yo, y'all could have sworn we was older when some of these joints came out, man. That was 1990? 1990, dog. That's yeah, because he dropped right. America's Most Wanted May 16th. Man. And I'm jacking for beats. Yep. May 18th. Yeah, I mean, uh, America's Most Wanted came out. Yeah, they were dropping Damn. music back then. Man, that was 1990. I could have sworn we was a little bit older. I sort of swore we was a few years older when them Jones came out. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see where I'm at. Uh, all right, we got Legum Shabazz. The Law of Shabbat Shabazz, DJ Cool Drop, The Music Ain't Loud Enough, Chub Rock, Treat Me, Treat Him Right. Okay, yeah, classic uh, joint. Yeah, Professor X, The Overseer, you know what I mean? That came out, Year of the Nine on the Backhand Side. Uh, let me see, anybody else? All right. Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's pretty much everybody from 1990 that dropped it. But like I said, the top three... Top three albums of that year was uh, Hammer at Three, uh, People Please Hammer Don't Hurt Them. We got Ice Cube at Two, America's Most Wanted, and Public Enemy at Number One, Fear of a Black Planet. Yeah, man. Um, a lot of good damn. albums about that year, though. Damn, though. Yeah, 1990, that joint was action packed. Yeah, a lot of good, yo, you sh- shit. I get it, though, man. Man, that's when you, like we said before, that's when you had to buy the physical. You damn near spent $100 on CDs back then. No, that's why I bought that. That's why you went right to the after the bootleg, man. Yeah, yo. I you can't, can't spend listen, dog. On CD, listen, dog. I can't spend $17, $18. Or I can't spend no goddamn $13, $14 on the cassette tape. Every time? We ain't gonna fucking give me them Jones three for 10, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but the bootleg man back then was a godsend. And, yeah. and it's not that we don't, we, we don't love y'all, but everybody ain't had it. And I'm especially when I was a little kid. Now I mean the fallout for the bootleg or the three gave you three drinks for ten dollars back when I was a little kid. That's the only way I got my hands on some of the music. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. Right. I had to buy some bootlegs sometimes. Now I mean I was young. I ain't dude. I ain't have it. I ain't. I ain't have to buy everything. Right. I feel you. So 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 you giving me two drinks for five or three for ten or whatever. Or three drinks for ten or Shit, whatever. You got me out. You know what I mean? So, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, you good. helping me out. Bro, we, 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 you know we going saying? on, uh, what was that, 91? We that was there? 90. This 91 right here. 91, we got uh, number three, Cypress Hill, with a subtitle uh, album, Cypress Hill. Uh, Tribe Fall Quest was number two with Low and Theory. N.W.A. with Niggas for Life was number one mm. in that year. You know what I'm saying? So, that's crazy. Ice Cube coming off of that, you know what I mean? 1990 year, going in that N.W.A. year. Man. But uh, the other artists that released that year, yeah, I mean, that didn't fall within the top three. We had Digital Underground, but this is an EP release. Uh, DJ Quick, Quick is the name, Gangstar, Step in the Arena, mm-hmm. uh, Insane Clown Posse, uh, Dog Beats. Damn, Insane Clown Posse went out since 91? Yeah. Uh, another bad creation. I don't know why that fell within hip hop, but it's there. Talking about Cooling at the Playground. Y'all know. What it's supposed to be. That was more R and B though. You think A B C? They was rapping on that. Jay wasn't. Aisha, they was rapping. That's my shit. That's my shit to this day. That's still that's still one of my favorite records to this day. To this day. To this day. To this day. You know what I'm talking about. That's still one of my favorite songs of all time. To this day, oh, I man. still I still listen to that song to this day. Aisha, yo man, still Remember you see I put that on everything. I still, that I was st- the shit. I still listen yeah. to that song. What were you saying? I said no, like they. I mean, I mean, you can say that though. They were, they were. Now I'm saying they was one of the pop, yo man. Fresh little young dudes. Now I'm saying because we was young at that time. Know what I'm saying oh, fresh yeah. little young dudes. The starter jacket, damn, they had the starter jackets yeah, and all that. Yeah. They had the hats to match. They had, yo, fly, man. They was killing. Yeah, they definitely was killing. Fly, know what I'm saying? They always had the sneakers and all that. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, listen, man. Fly, young dudes, man. Yeah. Shout out to fly, them. young dudes. Like I said, yeah, shout out to another bad creation, man. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to one of my favorite songs of all time. I, I still literally listen to that song to this day. I don't give a damn how old I am. I still listen to that song. I still do. A B C B B D the East Coast family. Well, that's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Shout out to them, man. You know what I mean? Uh Master P dropped uh Getaway Clean. Jizza, Words of the Genius. Okay. Kid Capri dropped the tape. Uh Young Black Teenagers. They dropped their subtitle album, Young Black Teenagers. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was hold on, that was nine, that was ninety one? Ninety one. 
That was the first time they 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 dropped. That was the first time they dropped. I remember them dropping when I was in like middle school though. That might not have been their first joint. Let's see. Yeah, no, no, no. See, see, we 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 was in middle school after that. I was in middle school after. We was in middle school after that from ninety two to ninety five. We was in middle in middle school. I remember. I remember young. I remember young black teenager. Was it tap the bottle? Yeah, that was ninety two. Yeah, because we was in. Yeah, because we was in middle school when that joint came out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got uh, let me see, Boogie Down Productions drop a uh, live hardcore worldwide. Um, Houdini bags of tricks. Uh, yo yo make make way for the mother load. Mm-hmm. Uh, was see. that um? Was that you can't play? You can't play my yo yo on that joint. Let me see. Yup, that was on there. You can't play my yo-yo. Love that song to this day. Well, Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? I always thought that they was a group when they first jumped out. Her, I heard Cube. They was they was kind of they was close. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah make yeah. sure when y'all when y'all when y'all mention um women in hip hop. I mean, don't don't leave yo-yo out. You know what I mean? She was. She had big impact on, 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 on hip hop, especially West Coast, but just being a woman, period. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, you can't play me. That's, that's, that's still, I, I still. Don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That was that shit, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if I skip any of these joints, yeah, I mean, you just bring it back, bring me back, Uh, because there's a lot of these joints. Terminator X drop, Terminator X in the Valley of the Jeep Beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terminator. Was that, was that the, uh, was that homie don't play that? That was his song, right? Was Homie Don't Play That? It was like, like, like his, he had a group that, had, like, they song was Homie Don't Play That, right? I think so. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Terminator X. Yeah, I mean, for those that don't know, yeah, I mean, that's one of the uh, members from uh, Public Enemy, right? Yeah. Yeah, Terminator X. So, yeah, I mean, shout out to Terminator X. Uh, De La Soul dropped De La Soul Was Dead. Mm-hmm. Ice T dropped OG Original Gangster. Yep. Uh, Chub Rock, the one. Uh, NWA, of course, I already said that niggas for life. That was one of the top three albums that year. Cool Mo D vote dropped Funky Funky Wisdom. You know what I mean? Sway and King Tech, Concrete Jungle. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, that album back then. Yeah, well, yeah, man. Sway, Sway been around a long time, man. Yeah, Sway, Sway been around for a minute, man. Yeah, yeah, he was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, third base. With a dialect of dialect, Pete Rock and CL Smooth drop all sold out. Heavy D and the Boys, Peaceful Journey. Uh, Leaders of the New School drop the Future Without a Pass. Yeah, I mean that was that was that was a thorough joint too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Ghetto Boys, We Can't Be Stopped. I think this is the one you talk. This is the one you no, is it? Yeah, that's the joint. He's like in the in the. He was in the hospital. Like, yeah, this is it. Yeah, my yeah. plan trip. That's what that is. That's yeah, right. yeah. That, that that's what we like. We not dog. gonna think hard about these covers. Like yo, how the fuck we? First of all, the cameraman with y'all. We supposed to be doing a photo shoot. Stick it up in the hospital. Stick in the hospital. We just take the picture here. Use it. You know what I mean? That's what we do. Right. We keeping it real. That's the definition of keeping it real. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them, man. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> that is the definition of keeping it real. Nah, really, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that joke was crazy, man. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it felt just like a fiend. Wasn't even close to Halloween. Yep. Dark as death on the streets. Hands were all bloody. Punched on the concrete. Yeah. Man. That shit played every Halloween, too, man. Every Halloween that came by, you would you was guaranteed to hear that. You know what I mean, from the ghetto boys. You was guaranteed to hear that on the radio or something like that. Uh, Comments Most Wanted. They drop uh, straight checking them. Mm-hmm. PhD without warning. Uh, Candy Man drop playtime's over. DJ Jazzy Jeff and a fresh was print. Candy, Candy Man was the uh, damn. What's his what's his name? Um, I remember Candy Man. Yeah, he was like one of the boys. He wasn't with NWA. He was like uh, a member, but he was like with them and shit. Candy Man. Yeah, Candy Man was with them. Yeah. Was it NWA? NWA? Yeah. Damn, I don't remember being with that because he was like on some like. R&B rap type tip, yeah, right? Yeah, he was with them. Yeah, let me see him. Go to his joint. Yeah, see, he's right. Candy Man's an American rapper and record producer. He's best known for his hit sits, Knocking Boots. Yeah, Candy yeah. Man's appears yeah, in the yeah. front row on the NWA and the Posse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the joint I remember. Not, yeah, not, not going to be okay. Yeah, Knocking Boots. Yeah. That, that was a classic, too. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, knocking. That, that shit became like a fucking staple in the in the, in the community. Just the, the term, knocking boots. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. You know what I mean, music for the people. Mm. Uh, main source: Breaking Adams. Uh, Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill. We said that. Oh, so you figured that was that was the main source joint came out what nine? What was that? This is ninety one. Right? Ninety one. Yes. So so that so so that's so that, that's the joint live the barbecue was on and Nas was on right yeah and Nas album ain't called like ninety four yeah so. this is the joint yeah yeah so classic shit yeah you know what I'm saying yep all right yeah you know what I'm saying we got uh Biz Marky dropped I need a haircut DJ Jeff dropped Soul Food Naughty by Nature Naughty by Nature. Damn, this 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 September time was damn. That was one of the best. Uh, that was one of the best album title, titles though. I need a haircut. I always like that album title. I need a haircut. Sure. Yeah, that, that was just a real ass title. <laughs> damn, yo, run this time. You had your money right. Yeah, Biz Marquee drop. I need a haircut. Yeah, you know I'm saying DJ. This rest, rest, rest in peace to Biz Marquee. Yeah, yeah. DJ Jared drop Soul Food. Naughty by Nature drop. Naughty by Nature. Poor Righteous Teacher drop. Poor Poverty. Pure Poverty. Queen Latifah dropped uh, Nature of a Sister. Nikki D dropped Daddy's Little Girl. Shout out to Nikki D. Nikki yeah. D is another one that I represented for the for women in hip hop. Yeah. This that this that latter part. This that latter part where all the heavy hitters start drop that four, that fourth quarter. This one when this when they come out. MC Lee, MC Light drop uh Act Like You Know, Nice and Smooth, Ain't a Damn Thing Changed. Love, love, love that album by Nice and Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Love that album. Yeah, WC and Mad Circle ain't a damn thing changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Uh, a tribe called Quest dropped Low End Theory. Public Enemy dropped Apocalypse '91. The the Enemy Strikes Back. I think I had that album. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Scarface dropped Mr. Scarface is back. Mm. Two Live Crew mm. Sports Weekend as nasty as they want to be part two. Digital Underground Sons of the P. Uh, UMCs. Fruits of Nature, Schoolie yeah, D. Day blue cheese is on. I think so. Yeah. 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 Schoolie D, how black man feels. Black sheep dropped the wolf and weep in sheep clothing. Schoolie D, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop pioneer here in Philly, you know what I'm saying? One of the first to do it. Man. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, Schoolie D was. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah, you right, yo. The Fat Boys dropped, you know what I mean, uh, October 28th, Mac Daddy, Big Daddy Kane, Prince of Darkness, Ice Cube with another joint, Death Certificate. Ice Cube was a yo. Ice Cube work ethic is crazy. Mm-hmm. We give we give Tupac the, like all the credit for Ice Cube work ethic is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a crazy ass title too, Death Certificate. Death Certificate. Yeah, that's a wild title. I ain't gonna front. That's a wild fucking title, you know what I'm saying? Organized Confusion dropped a self-titled album, uh, Hammer, Too Legit to Quit. Guys, Hammer was too legit to j- j- quit. Was on that joint. That joint wasn't one of the that top. That joint wasn't the top three. Yeah, but remember the the, the, the list went by impact. You gonna tell me too legit to quit wasn't on no impact? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I just, I just, just gotta be honest. You right, you right, you right, right. you right. I mean, to us it was. You know what I'm saying? Too legit, too legit to quit. Yeah, that was the shit. Damn, Capital had, Capital had a gang of motherfuckers. He was on Capital. Cause I was just watching somebody look at the smile shit. They, they was on Capitol. Capitol was killing back then. Um, Run DMC, Together Forever, Greatest Hits. You know what I'm saying? It's a hits from 1983 to 1991. Uh, Tim Dog dropped Penciling on Wax. Tupac dropped Tupacalypse Now. Tone Lope, uh, Cold Hand, Cold Hand Lope. Oh, was that? Was that? Was that Tupac's debut album? Right? That was Tupac, but the Brenda Brin got a baby on it. Yeah, that's it? that joint. Yeah. 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 Cause I was gonna ask you a question because somebody said, Do you think that Tupac had a better worth ethic than Big? And I'm like, it's hard to compare because Big First Joint ain't come out. By the time Big First album came out, Pac already had albums in. Like it's hard to compare, like album-wise, and say that Pac had a better worth ethic than Big. Yeah, you know I mean, when Big came out and Pac was already like kind of established as an artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that just to compare the two was kind of difficult. Uh D nice to the rescue. Yeah, high C with uh skinless. You say juice soundtrack. Oh, the juice juice joint. All right, the juice soundtrack came out that year. 
Yeah, yeah, Juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That joint had some had some joints on it. Yeah, it did. It yeah, did. Dude, Rock him know the ledge. Um, that's when the soundtrack yeah. damn near that, carried that, the movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that Aaron Hall joint. Yeah, Don't be afraid was on that one. I think I remember. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Um, see, that's the thing. A lot of people skip over the soundtrack. She, no. Shorty was a grown ass woman that worked at the hospital messing with a dude in high school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We just skip over that part because she was um because she was a chick she she was one of the, she was one of the singers in Vogue, right? I think she was one of the singers from the from the group in Vogue. Uh-huh. She was bad. She was bad, so we overlooked that, but at the end of the day, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, because I would have did it too. <laughs> but they wrong for having they wrong for having that in the movie. It was real though. I mean, you keeping it real. <laughs> Not me, because a lot of people just think that it'd be like grown women just messing with underage chicks. You know what I mean? No. No, nah. you're right. You're right. No, nah, it's a lot of grown women that's messing with guys underage. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm one of them. Um, I ain't going to call myself a victim. But yeah, people just skip over that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, who just skip over that? That she was messing with a guy in high school. She was a grown ass woman with a damn job. Yeah, she was established and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With her own spot. He going over. See, that's what I mean. See, that's how I yeah, was. Established. Yeah. I, I'd be on a goddamn bus going to a chick spot. Yeah. That's how I was. Right. You know what I'm saying? Type of stuff I was doing. Ain't had no goddamn business doing. You know right. what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. We, yeah. Yeah, cause a lot of people just skip over that. Like, that was just all right. Nah, 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 nah. That's something that needs to be addressed. It's not going to get addressed today, but I'm just saying. It's <laughs> something that needs to be addressed. <laughs> some, that's something that needs to be addressed. <laughs> Yo, that's wow. Oh, man. Yo. It's going to be a long ass episode because we a half hour. I in, know. We, and we, we only like the second year. We only in like 90, yeah, 90, 91. Uh, we about to go to 92 now because that was all for pretty much all for 91. All right. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, we're going to go to 92 right now. 19. Yeah, we only on 92. A half yeah, we're hour only in 1992. 1992, uh, number three uh, hip hop impactful album of that year was Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Mecca and the Soul Brother. Yeah, right, rightfully so. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, my favorite joint of all time. Know what I mean? When they reminisce over you. Yeah. Know what I mean? My favorite hip hop song of all time. Know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing fucking with that shit. I feel you. Ain't nothing messing with that right Yeah, there. that joint only sold 500,000 copies. Listen, listen. It doesn't matter. See, it go by impact. Yeah, right, right. That's what, what I'm saying. That's you, why talking, that's why you talking, why I, about, you talking, yeah. talking about a song yeah, that's, that, say, yeah. that's in a lot of people's top 10 or top 5. Know what I mean? For me, that's number one. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it went gold, but the impact when. They Remember the Civil You is one of the greatest hip hop songs ever made. Right. Ever made. Yeah. You know what I mean? Number two, we got Red Man with What? The album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember al- having that album. That also sold 500,000 copies. Uh, and uh, number one with Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Yeah, yeah. Rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? At that time. That was 92. Let's go check out 92, see what other albums came out that year. We're going 92. Okay, we got Sir mix a dropped Mac Daddy that year. Mm-hmm. War Finesse dropped Return of the Funky Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luke, I Got Shit on My Mind. You know what I'm saying? Boogie Down Production dropped Sex and Violence. The Foo Snickers dropped that year. Mm-hmm. F you and F you don't take it personal. You know what I mean? Shout mm-hmm. out to the Foo Snickers, yo. Yeah. Shout out to the fucking Foo Snickers. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah man. We need we, we to find out I mean, what he had to do an interview on them. Dog. Man. Yeah. Shout out I mean, to the Foo Snickers. A lot of people forget about the Foo, the Foo Snickers, man. The Foo Snickers was, yeah. Yeah, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. That's the yeah, true Foo Snickers. That's my, I am a true, my shit. What? I am a true Foo Snickers. Yeah. That, yo, that's shout that's, out to them. You know what I mean? True Foo Snickers. Definitely, my head, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's the shit. That was yeah, that I was see. the shit, yo. Straight up. And uh the youngsters dropped something, something for the youngsters. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, shout out to the youngsters, man. Yeah. Know what I mean, Philly, you know what I mean? Natives and pioneers. Right. You know what I mean? That really put a put put on for the city. Right. Uh we had um all traumatic MCs funk your head up. My Ooh. shit, you know what I mean? All, all traumatic MCs. Yeah. Magnetic MCs, you know what I mean? Remember that? yeah. 
Yeah, I remember them too. You know what I'm saying? To go back and look yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of these names that y'all saying, a lot of y'all younger cats, man, y'all get on YouTube and all that, and Spotify, you know what I'm saying? And put, you know I mean, listen to some of this music and kind of get an idea. I mean, even though it's not your time, it's more of our time. Right. But you can still listen to some of the music, you know what I mean? And get more enlightened, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Crusaders for a real hip hop. Deja Vu is 82. Uh, Sister Soldier dropped 360 degrees of power. Mm. Arrested Development, three years, five months, and two days in the life of. Uh, Sister Soldier was rapping? Yeah. I just remember her like talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to see. Oh, she got a joint featuring Chuck D on here. She got mm. Chuck D on one of them tracks. Uh yeah, yeah, I gotta see. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do my homework. Now, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I don't, I don't know if I forgot about that or what. Now, I mean, it might, it might jog my memory if I start listening to some of the music. I you know feel you. Saying? Yeah, it probably will. Uh, Chi Ali, the famous, the fabulous Chi Ali came out that yep. year. Yeah, I mean, crisscross, totally crossed out. Psh, my shit. <laughs> gotta give it up. <laughs> Can't can't, yeah. can't 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 like you can't can't like they didn't have us in a chokehold. Duh. We're going to school wearing our clothes backwards, yeah. and then everybody said, and then the school will be like, they banned that shit. Yeah, yeah. If you you don't <laughs> put your clothes, if you don't go in the bathroom and change the clothes, put your clothes on right, you getting sent home. Right. They Remember when they that sent they, when they sent letters home? Yep. They had to take the letter home. Let everybody know you can't. Your kids can't come to school with their clothes on backwards. Cause we was going to school with our clothes on backwards. Yep. People was going to school their clothes on backwards. Know what I mean? So I can't act like that. That's that the 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 thing of that. Something that small was that was like was like that big though. Wearing your clothes backwards. Yep. To the point that the school sent like letters home. Yep. Do not if you send your kid with they with clothes on backwards and we tell them go put your clothes on right. And they don't, they getting sent home. They getting sent the fuck home. Yeah, yep. they, they no, it, yeah, no. It went from that first to they gonna get sent to we not even letting them in the schoolyard if they had not I mean don't 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 come to school like that. Yup. You ain't even getting let in the schoolyard if you got your clothes on backwards. Yeah. That 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 movement was crazy. That was wild. Yeah, we was doing that shit though. I remember motherfuckers used to come out of the crib with their shit on regular because you know their parents ain't play that, but then change their shit. Yeah. Once yeah. they got like further down. Yeah. Then they flip yeah. their shit. Yeah, yo. That's, that movement was wild. That was a wild movie. Yeah, my boys used to go on like the driveway and shit and like and like change clothes and put their clothes on backwards. Yeah. And they walked to school and they the, the, the school was like, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> right. Which my thing, which, which, I, which I understand what they were trying to teach us. I get it now that I'm older. But then you like you like yo you just yo you you killing the fun. But I understand as a grown person looking at a child like no you don't even want to put that program in their head to wear you walking around wearing your clothes backwards. I feel you. I feel you. So as a as, as an adult I understand it now. But back then it was like come on man you killing the fun. As a kid you like it's it's something fun. But as an adult I understand why they why they didn't want us wearing our clothes backwards. Right. I get it. Right. Yeah. It was just it was a it was just a it was just a moment. It was a moment in time, you know what I'm saying, that we all ran with. We enjoyed it. that shit was fun though. I ain't gonna front well, it was fun. Um we had Don's Effects with Dead Serious. My shit. Yeah. My shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bum skitty the bum skitty the bum bum. Yeah. That was a classic. That was classic shit. Uh Poison yeah. Clan with Poisonous yeah. Mentality. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I mean? The whole the whole iggity, you know what I'm saying? That whole style. When the record came out, when 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 they when they when effects came out, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was like a game changer. You know what I mean? And then you know the video, they was in like the sewers, the whole sewer style and all that. Yeah, that was like a moment in time, man. Because Mike Checker is also another one of my favorite records of all time. Um. Just shout the Dawes effects, man. They really like came with something like new, like that you like never heard. And they came and like they just they came and just switched stuff up. They did. And a lot of people listen to it and they're like, they wasn't, they not saying nothing. They not, they not saying nothing. They're like nursery rhyming and they're not saying nothing. You couldn't tell us that. Yeah. Still can't tell me that. <laughs> 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 so can't tell me that. That's my shit. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be yeah. my shit. Leave I it alone. Yeah, I feel you on that. 
nah, that really wasn't because you know, you know, time goes on and people like that shit went in that fly. Everybody always praising the whole Iggy style and then the dog. They came and set shit off with that, switched it up for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when when they when effects came out, and then I guess I I want I, I want to say James was that was James Brown still alive when that joint came yeah, out? He was. He was. And James Brown wasn't having that. Like yo, you can't use my sample and all that. <laughs> then they switched it up because I hate it. Because I hate it. People and, and, and people and people from that time and all that. Like I say the golden era and the barbershop won't know what I'm talking about. Remember when the the the, the original they want effects beat came out. Everybody loved the song. And when they had to switch the they had to switch the beat up, yeah. I guess James Brown was like, nah, you're not using no sample, you're not sampling music. And they switched it up to that beat that I couldn't stand. I didn't like that beat. No disrespect to whoever produced that second beat. I wasn't feeling that joint. I though, feel you. When they had to switch up from the original beat. You know what I mean? But they went affects, like I said, but Mike Checker was was, was, my, was one of my favorite jokes of all the time. So listen to that to this day. Yeah. No, it was just, you know we I mean? had we had motherfuckers that dared to be different, though. Everybody didn't want to sound like, that was the that was the whole allure of it. Like, when you was a yeah. rapper, I, I don't, I want to make sure I, I don't sound, sound like such and yeah, such. Yeah, I don't want to sound like somebody, even, exactly. even though, even though, because, um, they from like Brooklyn or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. we wasn't, but we still switched it up. Now I mean, because, right. because, because if you think of Brooklyn, you're not thinking about that style. You True. Think, now I mean, you think of some hardcore street shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, now I mean, yeah, man, that, yeah, when they came and switched it up with that, they they really did. Yeah, they did. They did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, 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 and shout for EPMD for, for like, hearing them and then knowing that, like, yo, they sound totally different. They're going to bring something different. Right. You know what I mean? Just, just listen to the style the way they was rapping. It just knew like you was gonna bring you bringing something different. Right, you're right. They and they definitely did. They definitely did. Shout out to Dow's Effects, man. Uh Poison Clan with uh Poison's Mentality, uh Esham, Judgment Day, Spice One, Spice One. Yeah, yeah, Spice One, another one that um a more a very a very uh a West Coast dude that don't get get talked about too much. He had talked about like in the barbershop. Uh-huh. But like, yo, he really he held it down too for 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 the for, for the West Coast. Him and him him and him and MCA the people dudes that don't get talked about as much as other guys, you know, you know, you're gonna say Snoop and you know Ice Cube and all that. But no, nah, people like MCA, Spice One, they was really putting on for the West Coast too, man. Right. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Who Man drop Funky as I Wanna Be, Beastie Boys drop Check Your Head, Kid Frost, East Side Story, Master P, Mama's Bad Boy, Dougie Fresh, Doing What I Gotta Do. Damn, Master P was putting in work. So, so Master, so Master P wasn't lying when he said he was doing that a long time Duh. before it blew up for him. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Fuck, he wasn't fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kid Sensation dropped the Power of Ryan. UGK dropped the Southern way. Shout out to you know I mean UGK, man. You know what I mean, listen, listen, listen. It's coming from the pimps. Ain't got yeah. nothing to do with boy. Shout out, yeah, exactly. Shout out to UGK. Right. That's another. That's another reason why you could tell, like, even during the time, if y'all go back to Tuesday's episode where we talked about during the time that we were experiencing things, everybody didn't experience the same way. Right. How we thought Jay was just this. Oh my God. Even pimps say that shit. Like, man, we don't need to do no song with that nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bun B had to like convince him, like, yo, let's do this drink with Jay-Z. Who knows a song with that nigga? You know what I mean? Like, I got the I still got the baddest bitches and the latest cars. What the fuck we need him for? You know what I mean? So everybody didn't look, didn't view things the way that we viewed it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because some 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 people from here just have like an East Coast elitist mentality. Right. right. No, we're East Coast from we're from the beginning, so we're not. No, the only thing that matters is what goes on here. Yeah. Except because because I grew I grew up people that thought like that. They didn't listen for nothing from nowhere else. Yeah. Now I mean, if it wasn't from Philly, Jersey, or New York, they didn't even listen to it. They didn't even care. They'd be like, yo, 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 what is this? Yo, yo, why you even buy that? Right, right, right. Yeah, you're right though. Yeah, man. So you know what I mean? Like the same way that the, the generation look at us is people during that time that looked at you go to Houston, no motherfuckers ain't look at Jay like that. They face was they, they you know what I mean? Scarface was that guy down there. So, you know what I mean? Uh, Gangstar, Daily Operation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had MC Breed, 20 Below. Uh, Father MC, Close to You, X-Clan with Exodus. Uh, let me 
me see. K Solo, Time's Up, Pete Rock, and CL Smooth. Mecca of the Soul Brother. I already mentioned that because I was in the top three. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, Tongue Twister, Run Up, Run Off at the Mouth. Eric B. and Rock Kim. Don't damn, sweat the Twister, technique. Damn, that was, okay, okay, that was that was around about that time because Twister was. Before, um, before he signed the Wu, he signed Twister. Yeah, I think Twister was like his first artist. Steve Rifkin, right? I don't say Steve Rifkin was was Tw- Twister was his first artist. Then I think it was like the Alcoholics, and I think it was also Wu. I think they all got okay. If if I, if I, if I remember correctly, yeah, yeah, You're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, before he got rid of the tongue twister. Yeah, yeah, that was the name, tongue twister, before he just touched the twister. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo. The thing about it is, like, we got to understand, at that time, releasing an album, motherfuckers was releasing an album still going to school. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It ain't like motherfuckers releasing albums and then you was a big artist and shit. Like, motherfuckers had albums like albums out and you just still living your regular life because mm-hmm. the album ain't paying off right now and shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a lot of motherfuckers was going through that, had albums out, but... Man, that shit ain't working right now. I'm about to do something else. Uh, I already said the Arab and Rakim don't sweat the technique. Yeah, uh, that's my yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Sweat the technique is my joint. Yeah. I'm still listening to that to this day. Yo, yo, Black Pearl. Mm-hmm. MC I'm, I'm Ren. Kiss, kiss my black ass. Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah, shout out to MC Ren. MC Ren is another one that put it down. You know what I mean? He, um, like I said, there's other people that... You be saying their names first and stuff like that, but right now, I mean, right. people like him. He wanted them to like MC8, Spice One, MC Ren. It's one of them dudes that was, you know what I'm saying, was was nice, right? You know what I mean? It was dudes that that yo, you can't, you can't, you got, you got to show them their respect. You can't fuck with them, but they don't, they may not get the same notoriety as like a Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Right, you're right. A Snoop or a Too Short. People that name, when you start talking about West Coast people, you start saying other people's names first all the time. But they was dudes that really did put it down. Now, I mean, he's one of them the guys. Right, right. Uh, too Short, Shorty the Pimp. Mm-hmm, uh, D- DJ Quick was yeah, way I mean, too funky. Yeah, yeah, DJ Quick too. And I'm yeah. saying DJ Quick was rapping and producing lots of other people. Yeah, House of Pain. They dropped their self-titled album, House of Pain. Yeah. EPMD, Business Never Personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, think, I think Business Never Personal was the one that Headbanger was on. Yeah, damn, UGK was not fucking playing. UGK dropped Band just months after they dropped fucking Yami the Southern Way. Listen, we family men, we getting this paper. <laughs> know what I mean, Southern rap teams, man. <laughs> yeah. Putting in work. So know shout, know shout in out work. to them, yo. Know damn. Mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? You look, look back a lot. Some of these dudes are putting in work. Master they P, was. UGK was putting in work years before. <laughs> They kind of, they music, they stuff kind of reached us. Like I said, this was back before all this technology. Hell yeah. Before all this technology. You know what I'm saying? So, they, things was word of mouth and hand to hand. It wasn't like technology now where you can just find somebody. So, I tell you about somebody, you could just go on your phone and then, all right, found it and you listening to it that easily. It wasn't like that back then. Right. Uh, where was we at? We had the Poetis. You know I mean? Simply Poetry. Um, MC Search dropped Return of the Product. Chub Rock, I gotta get mine. I gotta get I gotta get mine, yo. Bushwick Bill, little big man. Bushwick Bill and Willie D dropped in the same on the same fucking day. That's crazy. Willie D, I'm going out like a soldier. That's wild that they dropped That's a dope them. title though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, shout out to them, yo. That's wild that they dropped on the same day. Like. You know what I mean? That Joe Willie D let a hoe be a hoe. What, what, what the Joe was let a hoe be a hoe? Let me see. Uh, uh, forgive me, I can't remember what joint let a whole be got let a whole be a whole be on there, man. Yeah, man, they was putting in work. They was putting in work. They dropped uh, solo joints, dropped joints. Yeah, together. they dropped both of them the same day. JT the bigger figure dropped. Yeah. You know what I mean, don't stop till we major. Shout out to yeah, him, man. Yeah, me, yeah, damn, he's been around. Yeah, Joe, he's been around for a minute. Yeah, man. shout out to JT the bigger figure, yo, yo, he's been for a long fucking time. Yeah, yo, for real. Yeah, yeah, he one of them cats that was that was doing it for. Uh, he from like San Francisco, ain't he? Some somewhere around there like that. I want to uh, say. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, yep, yeah. Exactly, exactly right. Yep. Yeah, man. Damn, yo, he been doing it for a while. Damn, 
Funky Ass Sex Drops, uh, Chicano Blues, Public Enemy, Greatest Misses. Um, I already said that. Red Man dropped that. Diamond D, Stunts, Blunts, and Hip Hop. Yeah. Diamond D. Yeah, Comp is most wanted. Drop uh music to drive by. Let me see. Common sense drop. Can I borrow a dollar? That's a crazy ass title. Music to drive by. Okay. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. I heard talking about the drill, the drill rip. You talking about? They been had people putting that work in and Duh. showing guns in the video and all that. Duh. Remember that shit is music to drive by. People act like motherfucking drill rap just started anything with yeah, guns and hip hop. That's the album cover right there. You know what I'm saying? The album cover. You know what I mean? You know what we about to do. Right. Yeah. I'm just talking about drill rap. Hey, they joined the intro, hit the floor, hook took me under, jack mode. Yeah, so we know what they talking about. Number eight was dead men tell no lies. Yeah, so we know what they talking about. Yeah. Damn, they gave you a hefty, they had 18 tracks. Hell yeah, that's what we call it, talking, keeping it real. They gave you a hefty track. Yeah, yeah MC, MC8, you know what I mean? Produce a couple of their tracks yeah. too. Shout out to you, know I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yo, we know exactly what they talking about. They just talking about driving. Yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> all right, what's he at? Insane Clown Posse dropped uh, Carnival of Carnage. Grand Pooba dropped Real to Real. Uh, Roxanne Shante, The Bitch is Back. Mm. Positive K, the skills that pay the skills that pay the bills. Was was was, was that joint that, that that I got a man on it? What that, Roxanne that, Shante? No, Positive K. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah that that look like that one it was. I got a man. Yeah, it's right there, number nine. Yeah. Yep. I got. What your man got to do with me? Yeah, still like that right there. Yeah. Okay. UGK drops too hard to swallow. Hold on, cause this will be the third. If I'm they dropped three joints in one fucking year. Listen, look, dog. Listen, listen, listen. Oh. Yo, dog. That's wild. Listen, man. Listen. I ain't remember getting this paper. Now I'm talking about. Dog, that's wild. I can see why Pimba's like, what the fuck we need him for? We dropping three times a year. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, the fuck is we worried about the Jay Z hood? That's Dog, the drop three. Because remember, when we first heard, when, when um, X did this shit, we was all enamored by that. Yo, X dropped two joints in a year, and they went crazy. These motherfuckers is probably down south. was like, we been doing shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, yo. Uh, Damn, Ghetto Boys dropped the joint. That, you know what I mean? That year, too. Ghetto Boys, uncut, dope. Ghetto Boys, best. Ice Cube dropped the Predator. Yo, they got some dope-ass titles. Oh, Ice Cube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, the dogs, K-9 Bass. Uh, yeah, Ice Cube, Ice Cube has some crazy titles, yo. Uh, well, Cool G rapping DJ Polo, let Live and Let Live, The Far the Fair Side, Bizarre Ride, Far Side, I'm sorry, The Far Side, The Bizarre Ride 2, The Far Side, Heavy D and the Boys, Blue Funk, Dr. Dre, The Crime, we already said that, Easy e 5150, Home for the Slip, yeah, yeah. man. A lot of a lot of shit came out that year. Grandmaster Cass, the grandest of them all. Damn, that was a crazy time, man. Yeah, damn, we ain't even gonna we ain't even gonna make it to ninety five in this motherfucker, dog. Yo, <laughs> damn, we ain't gonna make it to ninety five, dog. Yo, but that's how much as all music it was, man. Damn. Let's just let's see if we can get through ninety four because ninety four is kind of around the time that you know what I'm saying you know hip hop started to change up and stuff and whatnot. We had ninety. No, I ain't even get to ninety three. Yeah, it, was, was that 92 you just That got? was 92. Damn. No, oh, that was 92. I didn't get to 93. Nice. So 93, you know I mean? The number three album of that year, Impact Wise, was Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. Number two album that year was Snoop Doggy Dog, Doggy Style. And the number one yeah. album was Wu-Tang Clan, Enter the Wu, 36 um, Chambers. I kind of get that. I get it. But you might... Even though, you know, the, the woo is a woo, but but Doggy Style was like one of, at that time, it was like it was like the most anticipated album of all time because he just came off the chronic. Right. And of course, he going to be up next to do an album. So, I understand what they mean by the, the worldwide impact that the woo just kind of like had like within like a few years. Yeah, they did. 
But like, I don't know if that was Snoop was considered number one and Wu number two. But if, if, if I mean, it don't really matter. But yeah, 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 yeah. But that made perfect sense. Though. Yeah. All right. So the albums that came out that year with them, we had Professor X, The Overseer, Puss in Boots, The Struggle Continues, Heavy D and the Boys, Blue Funk, uh, King T dropped the Trifling album, Brand Nubian, and God We Trust. Uh, Strictly Root, Strictly Friends. Young black teenagers drop uh dead ends dead ends kill kids don't lie. Dead ends kids don't lie. Lifetime bitch. We had Apache drop Apache ain't shit. Mm. Tupac strictly for my niggas. Mm. Flavor unit rolling with the flavor. Naughty by nature. Uh, nineteen naughty three. Be legit. Trying to get a buck. Ghetto boys who death do his part. Damn, they y'all dropped late in the year, they dropped early in this year. They was they was working. Kid Rock, the what's that? The Pole Fuse method? Okay. Kid Rock was supposed to work in. Yeah, he was. Ice T Home Invasion. Yeah, that's my shit. I remember that. Moni Love in a word in a word of two. LL Cool J, 14 shots to the dome. That's crazy, because that don't even sound like an L Cool J title, dog. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was when he was on, like, <laughs> yo, yeah, we got to get to that for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. To me, that was a misstep, because he went in, like, a whole different direction. That's the joint when he was, like, he was, like, on some, like, hardcore, I'm coming through. Go, you know what I'm saying? When that, what's the name of that Joe? He was fucking smack, 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 smack. Like he was, some shit he was rapping like. What's the name of them joints, yo? Some shit he was saying in the joint. He's making gunshot sounds and all that. Yeah, yo. Yeah, I'm like, come on, man. Come oh, on, man. dog. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what happened right there. Or what made you like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, that was that was a wild jump. Yeah, 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 that yeah. That was a wild jump, man. Yeah, he got like, he, yeah, yeah. He just went left with that drink, man. I mean, he from, I mean, he's from that. True, he's from Queen, but I like that was just like, that just took me by surprise. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like yeah, fourteen shots to the dome. Yeah, that's a wild title, yo. Uh, Lords of the Underground drop. Here come the Lords. Yeah, yeah. Onyx, so, 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 back the fuck up. Still love that. So still, still love Lords, Lords of the Underground, man. To this day, man, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, Psycho, I love that record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, everybody loved Chief Rocker. I didn't like Chief Rocker as much. No. Everybody loved Chief Rocker. I didn't like Chief Rocker as much as the other records I love. Like, like my favorite record was um, a oh, funky was, chop. No, it was actually Psycho. Okay, 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 okay. That's just me. You know what I mean? But they had some joints, man. Yeah. Sleep for dinner remix. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, they they you definitely had some shit. Um, Onyx back the fuck up. Yeah, must what? You know what I mean. Yeah. Look, he's got guns. This motherfucker got guns in the album. He's talking about some drill rap. Tell him this drill rap about the control. What are you talking about? He was shooting fucking guns in the video. You know what I mean? Back Yo. the fuck. The name of the joint is Back the Fuck Up. Back the Fuck Up, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the name of the album. Yep. Back the Fuck Up. Yeah, yeah man. that was the name of that. That was the debut album. Back the fuck up. What's mine's is mine's and what's yours is mine. Yup. Uh, Mob what's Deep dropped like Juvenile coming? Hell. Yeah, yeah, I remember that Mob Deep joint. You know what I'm saying? That Mob Deep joint. I was kind of, I listened to that joint, but they didn't really get a hold on me to the, to the, to the next joint, the Infamous album. When the Infamous album came out, that, they like rhyme style and all that. That shit went like leaps and bounds, man. They production and all that, but like leaps and bounds. No disrespect anybody. That 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 did production on like, like on that album not like that the way they run, but they they took that shit to the next level. I remember that one. I remember the first one I started listening to it. I was like, damn, I kind of like them. But when they came out with the next album, that shit was no joke. Dog. Right. Uh, uh, the beat nuts drop, intoxicated demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always like, I always like the beat nuts. Yeah, I like the beat nuts too. Yeah. 
Uh, we had Tim Dogs Do or Die, The Youngsters, The Aftermath. Yep. Is that the joint? Was Cruz Pop on that joint? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. That don't say the producer, naughty by nature. It just say naughty by nature. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had Run DMC drop down with the king. Yeah, yeah. I always like down with the king. Yeah. Uh, Master Ace Incorporated drop Slaughterhouse. That was my shit too. Um... I still like the record saying Saturday Night Live is my record. Yeah. Saturday Night Live is my record. Yeah. We got that uh, beat is fucking crazy. I think I think Amir did that beat if I'm not mistaken. Click on that and see who, who did that beat Saturday Night Live. Just down at the bottom. Hey, right. So right, they say unique. I don't know who the unique is. I trust. I, I swear I think DJ Vermeer did that beat. Cause he say he called say DJ Vermeer on the beat, don't he? I can't remember. I know that's my shit. Yeah, that's my shit though. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Shout out to them, man. Uh, we had we had three show fellowship. But we we passed that. I'm trying to I'm trying to hurry up and get through there. Uh, Fifth War Boys drop Ghetto Dope. Uh Guru. Who's Jazz? Jazz Metaz. Yeah, Jazz Metaz, man. I love them joints, man. I like the fact that he just like, he like sidestepped and went and did his own thing, but he's like, he always had like, because you could tell he always loved jazz, so yeah, he always he like, used to rap over them beats. I used to like them joints, man. I used to like them joints. He he had a few videos for him every now and again, you know what I'm saying? But not as much as his Gangstar stuff. But I always liked uh, Jazz Metaz whenever he just went off and just did his own like, tied like album and all that. Yeah, yeah, I used to like them joints, man. I used yeah. to like them joints. I uh, really did. We got the roots with Organix, Big Daddy Kane. Look, looks like a job for what was the name of the song? Looks like a job for. That's all it said. Okay. Uh, Havoc and Prodigy. Live in a criminal wave. I don't remember that. Somebody got to enlighten me on that. I don't remember that. I remember Juvenile Hell and then the Infamous. I don't remember that. No, no. That's... Ain't that the West Coast group? Yeah. That's, that's the what, West yeah, Coast group. Yeah, having, That's not yeah, my deep. That's yeah. the West Coast group. That's South Central Cartel. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember South yeah. Central Cartel. Because they had the same names. Yeah. As Mob Deep. Yeah. Knuckleheads dropped Strictly Savage. Mac Dre, the best of Mac Dre. That's a, that was a dope name, too. South Central Cartel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, we got I'm trying to help me get through these joints. Luke in the new, Esham, kill the fetus. Father MC, sex of the law, Biz Marquis, all samples cleared. Jungle Brothers, JBs with the rip with the remedy. MC Light ain't no other. Yo yo, you better ask somebody. Uh, Candy Man, Johnny dropped another one. I thought you knew. Uh, Aknel. A vagina dinner. No, vagina. No, vagina. Diner, diner. diner. I'm sorry. Vagina, vagina diner. I'm sorry. When that's the that joint that put her in your mouth was on, right? Yeah, that mouth. was the joint that was in there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the bomb was on that joint. No, no, no. No, this is not that one. It got to be right there. Oh, I got you, yeah. I didn't right. think that it was. I thought that was a different album. Yeah, you right. You know what I mean, uh, man, we got Rumpelstiltskins. Oh, yeah, yeah. What so is was, Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah, yeah, so was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rumpelstiltskins was in the joint. You know what I mean? The joint attitudes. You know what I mean? I always like that record. The King and I's on there too. Yeah, I always like the King and I, man. Shout out to them. You know, some of these dudes, you know I mean, wherever they at, man. Hope they're doing a lot of well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember Rumpelstiltskins and the King and I. I remember them. Yeah. Uh, JT the bigger figure, players in the game. Yeah. Mac Maul, illegal business, insane clown posse, Beverly Hills five oh one eight seven, Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Sunday, yeah, Black Sunday's a joint. Um, what a joint that ain't going out like that is on there. Ain't going out. I like that. I think that was on there. 
that one. I wish I remember that album cover. Yeah, it's on yeah. there. Yeah. It is on there. All right, we got up. Uh, we at um, Fat Joe the Gangster with Represent. Yep. Uh, Pooh mm-hmm. Man, Judgment Day. Represent, was that? Right, Represent was Joe, was his first joint, right? Yeah, that's his first joint. Yeah, that's his first joint. Yeah, it flow Joe was my shit. That's his first joint. Um, yeah, because he, he dropped that the gangster shit. He just started calling himself Fat Joe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Crisscross, The Bomb, Archer Magnetic MCs, The Four Horsemen, Eight Ball and MJG, Coming Out Hard, mm-hmm. Scarface, The World Is Yours, The Alcoholics, 21 and Over. Yeah. I always, I every time I say that, that, that fucking pigeon song, I always say The Alcoholics shit, too. You always correct me, but uh, what? Smoothie Thieves. I don't know why I always confuse the two, because Alcoholics is from L.A. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to them. I fuck with them, you too. Uh, Poor Righteous Teachers Drop Black Business. Mm-hmm. Another Bad Creation. Uh, it Ain't What You Wear, It's How You Play It. You know what I'm saying? De La Soul with Boho Mindset. Uh, I'm, I know I'm skipping a lot of people. I'm just trying to get through this joint because we're only in September right now. Keras One, Return of the Boom Bat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spice One, 1870 Ooh. Rope. Souls of Mischief, 93 to Infinity. All right, my bad. Souls of Mischief, 93 to Infinity. Yeah, now we're one of the greatest about records of all time. You think so? Yeah, that's one of the dopest records. Okay. I'm trying to find one of the dopest records in hip hop. It's, it's, it's all right. All right. Yeah. I was just saying. I, I, I didn't say number one, but I yeah. said it's dope <laughs> records. I got you. I got you. You got Digital Underground, Digital Underground, The Body Hat Syndrome. Uh, DJ Jazzy, Jeff and Fresh Prince, Cold Red, Salt and Pepper, Very Necessary, Leaders of the New School, T-I-M-E, uh, Black Moon, End of the Stage, Easy yep. E, yep. is Black on. Moon. Yeah, shout, shout out to Black Moon, man, some joints, man. Yeah, yeah. Some joints. Yo, all right, crazy take, but to me, that the, the original, the original I Got You Open, to me, has always been better than the remix. What? You think so? Yes. Yes. To me. You know what I mean? The original I Got You Open, the original beat to that was always better than the remix to me. Not to say the remix was poor. I feel you. I feel you. All right, the all right. original to me was always better. Damn. I like the remix better. Wow. Okay. That's what's up. Damn. Uh, you know what I mean? Listen. The debut album Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Diesel came out that year. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad. We sit or Eric Sherman, Green Eye Bandit. Uh, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still listen to some of them joints. Yeah. Uh, too short, get in where you fit in. You know what I mean? Pudge the fat bastard. Give him the finger. Daddy O came out that year. You can't be a daddy, but never daddy O. You can be a daddy, but never daddy O. A Tribe Called Quest. We already said that. Midnight Marauders. Uh, Brother Lynch Hug, 24 Deep. We already said that. E-40 came over Federal. Two Shirt with the Greatest Hits. Daz Effects came out with Streets Up sea, up Seaside. What? Oh, Straight, straight Up. up. I'm saying Street. Straight Up I'm Suicide. S- thank you. Thank you. I'm saying Street. Straight Up Suicide. MC Ren, Shock of the Hour. Queen Latifah, Black Rain. Snoop Doggy Dog with Doggy Style. I already mentioned that. Uh, Mac Dre, Young Black Brother. The Conscious Daughters, Heirs of the Street, Domino with Domino, Ice Cube, Lethal Injection. Yeah, Ice Cube did have some crazy. Ice Cube did. He was thought out with his titles, dog. He had some, some ill ass titles, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, you like the Ice Cube or the YouTube title game then? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, then when you think about his titles, well, it's thought out. I'm a nigga just like, man, whatever the fucking soul, whatever the fucking single gonna be, make that the title. Yeah, this shit is thought out, though. Lethal Injection, The Predator. You got Jodeci on there? What Joe is he doing on that? I don't know. Diary of a Mad Band. You know what I'm saying? San Quinn, Young Baby Boy, New Town. Yeah, so that's 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 pretty much all of that right there. That was 93. Damn, we only got. Damn. All right, man. Well, we're going to have to cut this shit short. We ain't going to get to 95. I'm no. going to at least get to 95. I know. That's why. That's why. Yeah, we should have started somewhere else. That's crazy. We got a lot of shit left. But shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know I mean, you know, we we, we not gonna go through all the albums, but we'll just do the the top the top yeah. three albums for the 90, 1995. Yeah. The ninety four. Should I do ninety four? Yeah. Do ninety four though? I'm first. saying I'll do ninety four, ninety five, but we just won't no. go through all the albums. Just do the top three. You wanna do all the joints that came out that year, ninety four? See, them probably them fucking ninety four and ninety eight is probably the best goddamn years. Hell yeah. Ninety four. Right, here we go. We are ninety four right now. Top three albums that was classified for ninety four. Outcast. Southern player, you know what I mean? Yeah, Players, joint. Cadillac, mu- Cadillac music. Southern uh, player, listen to Cadillac music. Thank you, man. Shout, shout out to my man. He put me on the, um, put me on the Outcast. You know what I'm saying, in middle school, he put me on the Outcast. Said, yo, listen to this man. They dope. Then when the video came out, I was like, yeah, they got the, he got the, they got the jerseys on. They got the sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of like just identify with them. You know what I'm saying? They wore polo. So we had like way more in common than we thought you would have somebody from the South. You know what I'm saying? Killer Mike, we, we, Killer we wearing Mike all the same said stuff. Big Boy started that shit. Who? Killer Mike said that. Killer Mike said Big Boy started the throwback era. Shout out to Dutchie Man because Dutchie Man hopped out there and said, "No, that's not true." We, well, I mean, if y'all y'all trying to still Philly swag. I Killer mean, Mike I mean, said no, that the reason, he started that shit. Yeah, but we we got a claim to that because Mitchell and Ness is from here. Right. So so people here was wearing throwback jerseys that really didn't have nothing to do with hip hop. True. Because Mitchell and Ness is here is from here. Right. So really that's why we kind of was doing that before everybody else. People was wearing like jerseys that are people that played like throwbacks and all that. Now I mean that stuff kind of started here because Mitchell and Ness was here. But I understand where Killer Mike might might get that probably get that from and thinking that you know Big Boy kind of started that in hip hop. But at the same time, um, bef- I mean, before that, Fife from, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's your name? Tribe Called Quest was wearing jerseys too, but I don't know if there's all throwbacks. But yeah, I understand. I understand what both sides are saying, but Mitchell and Ness is from Philly. So we right. kind of was wearing, we was doing that really didn't, didn't have nothing to do with hip hop. People was always wearing them jerseys here because we was, Mitchell and Ness was from here. Right, I feel you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, number two impactful album that year was Notorious Big, Ready to Die. And the number mm. one most impactful album of 1994 was Nas Illmatic. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. See, see, but that's why we wanted to go into 94 and see what else was going on. But Let's yeah. do it then. Fuck it. Yeah. We just extend this joint. It ain't yeah. about nothing. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you know what I mean? Here we go. 1984. So, you know what I mean? Um, we have... 5-0, if you're not part of the solution, we have Sham the Professor, Split Personalities, DJ Crush, Crush, UMC's Unreleased, Unleashed, excuse me. Well, that's my, no, no, okay, what's the meaning of DJ 2020? No, I don't think about, I don't think about, under, I about a different joint, I don't know if there's name any album, it was Unsolved Misdemeanor, Unsolved Misdemeanor was my shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. The UMCs, that's when they... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like... I think, yeah, I think the UMCs, they... they I forgot. I forgot the name of the record. I'm thinking about it in my brain, but the, but the UMCs had, had somebody... Came, came back out and had somebody joints. Man, All right. I thought it was Charlotte Jones. Yeah. All right, we are... We have, the Fugees came out that year, Blunted on Reality, Schoolie D, Welcome to America, Beastie Boys, Same Old Bullshit, uh, Fifth War Boys, Gangsta Funk, Nefertiti, Life, MC Hammer, The Funky Headhunter, Gangstar, Hard to Earn, Insane yeah. Clown Posse, Ringmaster. Damn, Insane uh, Clown Posse was working in the Yeah, they was. Yeah, they was. Uh, we have Vanilla Ice, Mind Blown. Main source, fuck what you think. Cool G rap, killer cuts, the roots from the ground up. Mm-hmm. MOP to the death. My shit. MOP, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, I bought some hardcore motherfuckers got guns all putting guns in people's yeah, faces in yeah. the videos and all that shit. Yeah. But the drill rap is out of control. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Motherfuckers is real, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh mad flavor. From the ground under, DJ Cool, 20 minute workout, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five. Message from Beach Street. What? The, what? Message from Beach Street. I don't remember that. The best of Grandmaster Flash. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Okay, that made sense. Yeah. They just put Junior. I was like, 
message from Beach Street. Like, you just put it both together. Like, all right, got you. Got yeah. you. Uh, Nas, Illmatic. Yeah, I mean, Shaheen dropped. Yeah, I mean, AKA the Rugged Child. Still love that album to this day, man. Yeah. You know I mean, shout out to Shaheen, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's still my shit. Man. I still yeah. play that album. Yeah. You know I mean, to this day, I play that album. Man. Uh, another level dropped on another level. Uh, South Central Cartel and Gatsby Trust. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight Baller MJG on the outside looking in. Heavy D and the Boys, Nothing But Love. Yeah, uh, Nothing But Love is my shit, too. Yeah. I love that record. It drew the Damager, The J- Sun Rises. J-Rule. Oh, my bad. J. Uh, Rue the Damager, The Sun Rises in the shit. East. Nah, I mean, also my shit to this day, man. Yeah. To this day, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Master P, uh, The Ghetto Trying to Kill Me. Yup. Uh, we had yep. 69 Boys, 1999 Quad. Yep. Shout, shout out to uh, Top Quality. Top Quality. Too. Magnum Opus, yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that, that's also a, a record that I love. God damn, these joints, these taking me back, man. Yeah. Uh, BC Boys, Ill Communication, uh, MC Breed, Funkified, mm-hmm. Warren G, Regulator, G Funk I mean? Era. Let's beat MC Breed. Yeah, yeah. MC Breed, Funkified. Um, we got Villain, Scandalous But True, Arrested Development. I don't even know how you pronounce this shit right mm-hmm. here, but I, I did fuck with Arrested Development. Zingalum Doom. All right, whatever. I ain't gonna fuck that up. Bone Thugs and Harmony cre- creeping on a come up. Mm-hmm. Terminator X, super bad. Bone, bone Thugs. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Granddaddy IU, Lead Pipe. Nice and Smooth, Jeweler the Nile, The Brat, Funkified. Mm-hmm. Big Mike, something serious. Uh, House of Pain, same as it ever was. Uh, Marvelous, Ghetto Blues. We had Biz Marky, Biz Baddest Beats. Uh, Luke dropped another joint that year. Freak for life. Julio, it takes a thief. MC Eight, we come strapped. Sir Mix a Lot, Chief Boot Knocker. Uh, Kwame Incognito. Instant. A lot of scratch on there. A lot of scratch on there. Creep with me through the neighborhood. <laughs> That was the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That was the shit. Yeah. Insane Clown Posse, the Terry Will, uh, Grave Diggers, Six Feet Deep, yeah. Boogie Monsters. The, yo, y'all names was wild back in the day. Um, I think I heard like a like couple of tracks of Boogie Monsters. <laughs> Riders of the Storm, the Underwood album, Organized Confusion, Stressed Extinction a- Agenda, uh, Champ MC, Ghetto Flavor, Public Enemy, Must. Muse, Slick, and Our, Message. UGK drop super tight. Super tight, excuse me. Uh, Flatliners USA. Yeah, yeah, I'm a flat, Flatliners. Now I mean the whole, the whole, remember that was part of the horror core. They called that shit horror core. Yeah, Grave yeah. diggers and all yeah, them Flatliners. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bloods and Crips drop brand, banging on wax. wax. Yeah, yeah, I remember that joint. Yeah. Then boy, like the Freddy Krueger mask on the album. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is part two. Okay, that's part two. This though. part two. I yeah. know I know the under the part one. I remember the boy one of the boys had like a Freddy Krueger mask. Yeah. Big Daddy King dropped Daddy's home. Uh rapping forte. Shout out rapping forte. Hell yeah. Don't fight the feeling. Hell yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rapping forte was smooth with it, man. I always like rapping forte. Yeah. Uh Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock, Break of Dawn. Craig Mack. Shout out to Craig Mack, yeah, man. Craig R.I.P. Mac, Craig Mack, man. Craig Mack had flavor in the air. Project. Project Funk the World, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, damn. The Youngsters with No Mercy. Keith Murray, the most beautiful thing in the world. Shout damn, out to Keith some, yeah, Murray. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The most beautiful thing in this world yeah, is just joints. like that. That's yeah. Some joints. Damn. Let me say, PMD Shady, Shady Vintage. Vintage. Damn, that, came, that did come out that year, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. man. Common yeah. Sense damn. Resurrection. Yeah, Shady Fenders, know what I mean? It's all it coming. That's why I went solo. Even though I didn't like the fact that they broke up, but they they both did have some decent music. Now, now I mean, the times that they was like apart, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They did make some decent music, though, too. And I'm glad to see they came back together. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Everybody can't be the locks. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens sometimes, man. Uh, K-Squad, Realms of the Biz of the Bushes. 
Uh, we got Death Row Records. Murder was the case. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got JT the Bigger Figure. The Wall in the Lab. Mm. Twister with Resurrection. Scientific with Criminal. Scarface the Diary. That was a classic too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Artifacts Between a Rock and a Hard Place. Foo Snickers. Nervous Breakdown. Willie D. Play with Play with Your Mama. Boogie Under the Influence. Brand Nubian. Everything is Everything. The Lynch Mob. Planet of the Apes. Lords of the Underground. Keepers of the Funk. Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Wow. Back Up Off Me. Uh, Goldie Land of the Funk. Cool Mo D. Interlude. P Rock and CL Smooth, the main ingredient. Shaq dropped the number one that year. Shaq Fu, the return. Yeah, you know I'm saying Shaq Fu the game. <laughs> Shaq Fu the video game. Yeah, I remember Shaq Fu the video yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Method Man to Cow. Damn, Method Man to Cow did come out. Then, damn. damn. Yeah, it was, a, it was a crazy year, bro. Bring the, fucking, bring the pain. One of the greatest rappers of all time. Bring the pain, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, damn, damn. Damn, to Kyle did come out. Yeah, yo. That uh, joint, you know what I mean? Bushwhackers, How Real Is Israel, Al Capone, Sinister Funk, Esham, Closed Casket, Ice Cube, Bootlegs and B-Sides, Red Man, There Is a Dark Side, Slick Rick Behind Bars, We got Spice One, America's Nightmare, Three Sick Mafia, Smoked Out, oh, Smoked Out, Loked Out, mm. Black Sheep, Nonfiction. Uh, Insane Clown Posse, A Carnival Christmas. Uh, um, that's pretty much all you mean that dropped for that year. Pooh Man, Ain't No Love, Black Alicious, Melodic. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, man. Damn, man. It's all right. Shout out to the barbershop. Y'all probably don't even know who's going to listen to this whole goddamn joint. This joint is long as hell. You know what I mean? Just shout, shout out to the golden there, barbershop yeah. dudes. The only ones that's gonna listen to probably listen to this whole joint, man. Yeah. Everybody enjoyed it. Everybody was probably like, I catch them next week. I don't yeah. know. They, I don't even know half the goddamn stuff they talking about. Yeah, because we only we only made it to ninety four. Yeah, we only made it to ninety four, and I got these joints from 90, 1990 to fucking twenty twenty and shit like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man, we might do the rest. We might do the rest as like a bonus episode or something like that. Yeah, we must have out there. You know what I mean? So 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 we'll get around to do all that. Like I said, now I mean this is for the golden era right here. It's dedicated to this. This episode dedicated to y'all. <laughs> because everybody else probably been turned this joint off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I mess with them, but not this week. I I I'll get you the next one. Right. I don't even know what they talking about. They talking about stuff that came up before I was even born. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah, I mean, we do appreciate y'all. We thank That's y'all. Right. Told the bums and said, don't, told me I forgot where I came from. Still living like bums. Hey, man, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, we do appreciate y'all. We thank y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop started out in the park. Yes, it did. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> know what I mean? It's one for y'all. It's one for y'all. Hip hop started out in the park, as you know what I'm saying? Yo. Y'all goddamn fucking. Five elements, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? This one for y'all. Y'all motherfuckers still tagging a goddamn... Y'all Y'all keep a book on y'all to just fucking do graffiti in. And Yo, write rhymes. Grew up with niggas like that, right. dog. Niggas niggas still book. like that. You just got a book and you just, you just tagging and doing graffiti art in the joint. Still doing that shit. Like, yo. They about to cut the lights off. I mean, like, nigga being never when you see a white train. Right. Like a white train. Right. <laughs> Ain't nobody get you that yet. Yeah. Like, yeah, yo, shout out to them, man. It costs a lot of money on like goddamn spray paint. Man, that's a that's a that's a talent, man. It's crazy how a lot of them dudes ain't like convey that talent just to become like just just become a muralist or something like that. Through something you can make some type of money, like. But I guess that ain't keeping it real. I mean, shout out to all the no shout shout out to all the artists, man. That's so hard too because there ain't no ain't, ain't no regular money come in. How you gonna keep up with it? You're right. You know what I mean? Well, got to you got to take care of yourself. You got people got families and all that to feed. Ain't nobody got time you doing stuff. And yeah, you paying all that money? How much money you probably been spent on spray paint? I don't even think you could probably buy all the spray paint at one. time. I don't think they'll let you buy all the spray paint at one time anymore. That that much spray paint you Not might now. need. 
Well, then again, who knows? They probably wouldn't even care. Like, what are they going to do with that? Ain't nobody tagging shit up no more. Yeah, I don't man. know. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? You know what I mean? They might look at that like, yeah, whatever. Oh, man. Damn, you can see how over the time, the years, the less and less music started coming out. I remember one time we, we, we bought spray we bought spray paint. A friend of mine bought spray, bought spray paint to go paint, paint his bike. And then... We bought it, got outside, the lady came outside, told us we had to get money back. We can't keep the spray paint. Shout out to her wherever she at. She was a fucking whole hater. <laughs> Did y'all get his shit back? No, she just took the joint back and just gave and, and, and just and just and just gave his money back. I was with um I was with um I think it was me, it was me and like Khalif. We was like, this is before Home Depot. This is heckin' shit. Before Damn. Home Depot. That's that's how long ago this was. We was kids. Before Home Depot, for all y'all that don't know, you know I mean, for Home Depot, there was a store called Heckinger. Heckinger was like Home Depot before Home Depot came out. So we bought like spray paint or whatever. Right. We got outside with it. She come outside. We already bought it, and it and it took it and told him we had to get his money was back. Was it the person? Was, was it the same cash register you bought it from? No. This is a different person. No, it was a different person. Okay, I guess okay. the fucking whoever. You know what I'm saying whoever lady she's over overseeing it or whatever. I was like, yo, that was extra. <laughs> that was my that was my shit. We already outside with it. We already on board it. I want to get this shit back. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you all. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Transaction over. Transaction over. No, I mean, it wasn't me. I'd have probably walked off and probably told her. I, I might have told her no. At the time, I was like, "Dang, you doing all that?" She come and try to snatch it out your hand. I don't know. She she might have been a Miss Goody Two or something like that. Probably so. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell with all the goody goodies? You know what I'm saying? But yo, we do appreciate it, y'all. Who knows, man, when we get back on this, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even, I, I, I didn't think that this was going to be that time consuming, but yeah, when you yeah, go back yeah. through it and you start reliving those moments. Damn, those a lot of albums. Back then, you had to do all that. Who dropping the third quarter? Who dropping yeah, the fourth quarter? Yeah. Tell me you doing all that. And you thought a lot of people might have been all been competition for your, for your money. Now it's right. like, Everybody's streaming, so so when so really when when does it matter when you drop now? Right, you right. Back then, when you when yo yo, I get it. Back then, when everybody ain't got money for everybody's shit, so people got pick and choose. Right. If everybody you got two three people you like dropping on the same day, ho, oh, I ain't got no money by everybody. Else. Right. So push my joint back or pull bring my joint up and then move my joint around because such and such or you know such and such is dropping, so you might not want to drop right now. Back then with all that, you no know, third quarter, fourth quarter, and all that, people dropped out. I get it. I get it. Because just, just looking at them lists, I get why why all that was more like super strategic. Now it's like, we would be like, yeah, man, go, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, my album come out uh, tomorrow. <laughs> like, yo, all right. You know what I mean? People yeah. be on the mic, Joe, come out like the mic. Like, Y'all going to stream them over any damn way. Right. You right. So. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you sat through this. Yeah, I mean, enjoyed it. Just enjoy the, you know what I mean, back and forth banter. And, and, I mean, just, you know, how we do on these episodes, man. But it's the Ernie Iso Show. If you don't know that, you know we out here, y'all. Peace.